welcome to my channel IT Smart Training if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos a lot today we are going to start a new topic that is how to install Windows Server code in Windows Server 2019 so let's start the lab I just create a folder inside my drive named server code then create a virtual machine select windows server 2016 server core select the folder which I previously created server core select next next processor I select one single processor 51024 is the RAM size bridge mode networking store virtual hard disk in a single file next sorry I have to check select the server core folder next and finish so the virtual machine is ready so I now uh, it's a time to install uh, windows server core now I select uh, the ISO image of windows server 2019 just power on the virtual machine loading file to install Windows Server 2019 core so this is the uh, Windows Server 2019 installation window just click on next install now so you can say check that you can see that uh, here is a two versions of operating systems are there one is a windows server standard and another one is windows server data center but each has each version has uh, two product one is a uh, windows server 2019 standard another one is standard with desktop experience here is a data center and data center with desktop experience so desktop experience is a gy version of 2019 and standard normal without desktop experience is a score version so you can also install a standard edition or a data center edition score over here I just select the standard edition next exit wrong click custom just click next it will take some time to install the Windows Server 2019 core so until I just uh, pause my video after the installation we will continue the lab you can see that uh, control all insert have to press okay provide a new password 
provide a complex password because server need a complex password because uh, all this uh, this is already written into group policy so you can check who am I see I am just logging with a local user account okay so now I what I do uh, I type sysconfig sorry IP config command. See, there is no IP can IP address uh, is uh, taken. Uh, so by default, uh, the interface is configured with DHCP. So the IP address is taken from DHCP. So here is no DHCP server. That's why it's taken uh, IP address. So now I have to provide an IP address. So I type this config. This is this config window where we can configure our server core. So at first I provide an IP address over here. So go to network settings, network settings is under 8. So type 8, select the network adapters, index number. So this is the index number of network adapter, that is 1. Type 1, enter. So now I have to set a network adapter address is set to 1 is for static d for DSCP IP addresses I just check which network are using over here So I have to check the IP address 10.0.0.1 Go to properties, I have to set the DNS at this 27 to 10.0.0.1 to the server core I just send an IP address I just provide an IP address 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 so IP address 7 mark 255 dot 0 dot 0 default gateway is 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot default gateway is blank we don't have any default gateway so I have to set a DNS server address, DNS server address is 10.0.0.1 so my DNS server address alternate DNS is none return to main menu number 4 now I just once in exit 15 I have to check an IP address is taken or not it's taken So all DNS is also taken, IP address is taken and DNS is also taken. So then S config. Now I want to join this machine into the domain controller. So the domain controller I have to select number one. One uh, 
for domain chart domain name smartlab.com lab slash administrator password is yes I have to change the computer name computer name is win hyphen 2k19 hyphen core enter thrice domain data password yes we start so now I have to go to the domain controller this is my domain controller go to dsc.msc go to computers you can see that the computer name is already taken Okay, this is the standard version. So is it starting? It started. I just send the control alt L type escape. Then press escape once again select other user domain name is administrator password is given here see it's logged in I have to check it is uh, login with domain or not who am I see it's logged in with domain Open and next config. So see, this machine is a member of a domain, and the computer name is also change. So uh, in the number three, there is an option uh, local administration. I just create a one. So V one is created. Configure remote management is number four. You can enable or disable remote managing management. Uh, these are all the settings of Windows Server Core where you can configure this config command. So, if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share my videos. Thank you.